Hi, I'm Nadine Dorries, prolific novelist and future lord. As it is this festive season, I want to bring you this. A new Christmas chapter from my erotic political thriller, His Front Bench Woman. Chapter 26, Deck the Halls, brackets, of Westminster. Well, Prime Minister, purred parliamentary fox Naomi Forrest, what a year it has been. Naomi, we did it. The Prime Minister poured champagne that costs £80 per bottle and you can't get it in Tesco, just down the wine shop. First this year, you were Prime Minister, Naomi breathed. Then there was that lady nobody can remember the name of. And then there were two months when backstabber-in-chief Dishy Boobank falsed his way in. And now, finally, you are back where you belong, Prime Minister. And how we did it is not important, the Prime Minister said, gratefully passing Naomi a Sainsbury's Taste the Difference Florentine, which he had taken out of the packet and served upon a plate. Just then there was an immature rap, rap, rap on the door of the room Naomi and the Prime Minister were perfectly happy in. Enter, said the Prime Minister. They shared a saucy giggle at the double entendre of the word enter. In walked Cassie Ribbons, the Prime Minister's ever so silly wife. Naomi didn't even care about her, to be perfectly honest. Room for a little one, she whined. God, desperate much. Without waiting for permission, Cassie just bloody walked in. She didn't even notice Naomi's contempt because she was so wrapped up in herself. Darling, she said to the Prime Minister, which was actually really patronising. He was Prime Minister for God's sake, and for the second time, just like Churchill, the first Prime Minister ever. Can I open one of my prezzies a day early? It was Christmas Eve, by the way. Cassie, no presents until Christmas. Christmas Day, the Prime Minister compromised. Yeah, respect Christ, Naomi said perfectly reasonably. At this, Cassie Ribbons ran from the room in tears, like a mixture of Bambi on the ice and Bambi just after his mother was shot dead. Good, thought Naomi. She'll be gone for at least 45 minutes, crying as per the usual. The Prime Minister smiled and raised a glass of that champagne from earlier up in his hand. Naomi picked up her glass of the same champagne and touched it to the Prime Minister's glass of champagne and it made a clink sound. Yet again, she had been his front bench woman, faithful and true, and in 2023 she would be a lord in everything. Wow, she said. Everything's coming up, Naomi. Not quite everything, erotic the Prime Minister. And while Cassie sobbed downstairs in the Downing Street pantry, the Prime Minister pulled a cracker of his very own. It was Naomi. (laughs) 